Hello my good people, welcome to Ticket Book Club. Today we look at the plot summary on the story The Sins of the Fathers. In The Sins of the Fathers, we revisit scares of the past and appreciate how past hearts can cause present and future pain if the victims do not heal and forgive their supposed enemies. Forgiveness can help avoid calamitous trivials. Mr. Ruffer, an ex-minister and liberation war veteran, clings on to hatred, and this obstinate refusal to forgive and forget causes the tragic death of his grandchildren and his son's father-in-law when they perish in a car crash he engineered. Long take. The Sins of the Fathers by Charles Mangoshi is a post-colonial story set in rural Zimbabwe. It takes place between Borodale and Buluwayo. Rondo is the antagonist character who revenge world opens at the story's very beginning. Rondo's father, Rafa, is an ex-minister but still influential in the political world of Zimbabwe. This is evident from how a fraction of mourners just come to take pictures with him for such photos will soon open doors for them. Rondo has a wife, Selena, daughter of Basil Mzamani, who is also into politics as an MP and a businessman. In fact, he is a political rival of the Rondo's father, Rafa. Rondo's two children, both daughters, Yuni, Yuna and Rhoda, are in an accident as they are driving home from a birthday party with their grandfather, Basil Mzamani, where Rafa takes to the podium to condemn his son for marrying from his enemy Basil. This has all along created bad blood between him and his son that this accident makes Rondo believe that his father had a hand in it. In their many stories, a revolution of what his father Gaston alludes to, have you ever wondered about the second street accidents? Rondo Rafa wistfully imagines how his father-in-law, Mr. Brazil Mzomani, and his daughters, Yuna and Rhoda, met their untimely deaths. He hopes they died happily, trying to erase his own pain. The three jolly family members perished in a tragic car crash after attending the girls' birthday party at Rondo's house in Borodale. He has been grieving for a week now numbed by the pain. Rondo is surprised when his father averts that one day Rondo will be grateful and glad that the tragedy happened then and not later. He adds, you will remember me and thank me. Find that on page 28. Rondo's thoughts wander to a distant introspection. When his father leaves, their thought that he lives in his father's shadow grounds him. He is not his own man. His wife thinks she could do better in his parents and he is laughing stock among his friends and colleagues. Selena, his wife, seems to be the more confident and influential on their pair. This can be attributed to the fact that they were brought up differently. Selena was brought up by people with long hearts people who forgive others while Rondo's father is an unforgiving savage. His father is a bombed out battlefield of scars. And this deepest scar is that he cannot forgive, not just his enemies, says Miss Rafa, his wife. Find that on page 31. He cannot even forgive his wife or his son. His bitterness arises from the past when his the Zeru Karanga clan was attacked by Matsvitundebele clan. The war affected him so much that he always remembered the pain of the scars rather than the relief of healing. The situation is compounded by the fact that his son Rondo married into a Matsviri family. 
Furthermore, he gives birth to two girls instead of a grandson who would inherit Rafa's wealth and qualities like his charisma. Mr. Rafa is so disappointed in Rondo that it affects Rondo's personality. It is Mr. Rafa's ill treatment of his only son that makes Rondo a timed laughing stock among his peers. It is thus suspicious that the grandchildren that Mr. Rafa considers inglorious die in an accident together with their grandfather whom Rafa detests so much. Rondo starts to put two and two together while interacting with his colleague and friend Gaston Shoko. Shoko refers to the accident that claimed Rondo's children's life as a typical second street accident. A subliminal hint that Mr. Rafa may have been the architect behind the accident. The bad blood between Rafa's family and Mzamane's family is apparent at the party. Although Basil Mzamane is benevolent and compassionate, Rafa remains obdurate and unforgiving. The two men's speeches at the birthday party turn sore, betraying the underlying resentment. A day before the party, the two men also disagreed on the matter of white people on the country. Mr. Mzamane proposed that people should be viewed as individuals because some are good while others are bad. On the other hand, Rafa holds blanket condemnation of groups of people and views everyone, anyone who seemed supportive of this supposed enemy as a traitor. Father back, Mr. Mzamane had taken care of the expenses of the children's wedding, while Rafa skipped the ceremony altogether claiming he was away on state business for two weeks. Mr. Rafa also hungers for a certain farm owned by a white man known as Mr. Harley, and he is ready to get it by all means. At the party, they try to conceal the boiling agitation between them behind the tight smiles and loud laughs. Later on, Mr. Ruffer recklessly talks about betrayal and enmity between clans and families causing visitors to live uncomfortably one after another. In the course of his rant, Mr. Ruffer derides their weak sons who marry into families of their enemies and contaminate the pure blood of the family. In his father's presence, Rondo always felt powerless. His mother insists that the old man loved his son but does not know how to show it. The story ends tragically when Mr. Rafa takes his own wife using his service pistol. After being confronted by his son, who he hotly labeled Slob. With that soft muffled pop, the bitter past filled with pain is probably buried. The sins of the fathers are washed away by their own blood. In the words of acclaimed American rapper and mogul, Sean Corey Carter, Jay-Z, nobody wins when the family feeds. Thank you for watching and listening this piece from Ticket Book Club. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed, turn on the notification bell and share with your family and friends. Catch you in the next one.